What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge as I move around the table. Welcome back to day two of Button Lock Week here on A Therapeutic Edge. Uh, today on the table, I've got something new, 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 like really new, from the folks at CJRB. This is our second CJRB this week. This is the Lago. This is a bigger, budget-friendly button lock from our friends at CJRB. And I say that because I am friends with the folks at CJRB. Uh, this one came by way of CJRB. So as Nick Shabazz would say, this may be the best one ever made. I don't know. Um, but um, I have it to share with you, so I'm going to. And I'm going to, as Nick would say, share the good, the bad, and the... I'm not going to steal his whole line, but you know what I mean. If there's anything wrong with this, I'll share it with you. But I have to tell you, after a week or so of having this and carrying it and cutting with it and doing all the things that you usually do with a knife, I have found nothing wrong with this knife. So that's really good. So what do you get with the Lago? Well, you get a really gorgeous blade. Really nice, high, sort of flat grind. It's got a little bit of a swedge up here that's, well, it's really done very nicely. It's got some jimping right here where your thumb lands. It's got a nice big deployment hole and a flipper. It's got a little bit of jimping on it. It is, as I mentioned, a button lock, and their button locks are very good. Uh, this is a nicely sized knife. It is steel liners and G10. It is open construction with a couple of barrel spacers back here. It's got a nice big spot for a lanyard if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not, but you might be, and if you are, they've got you covered. Uh, it is deployable by way of the flipper tab, or you can flick it, or you can thumb flick it, or you can roll it open. This is a really, well, it's a fun knife to begin with. It's got a really nice pivot with a red pivot collar on it, which I think is very cool. It's got a nice deep carry clip that's a little different than their standard. This is sort of their standard deep carry clip. This is something else. This, of course, is the pyrite that we saw earlier this week. Pyrite's a great knife. The Lago is more my size, for sure. Um, it's very comfortable in hand. The way they've shaped this pocket clip doesn't leave you any hot spots. And I just love this blade. I really, really do. Let's take a look at what you get with the Lago, shall you? You get three inches of cutting on three and a half inches of their ARRPM9 steel. As I discussed in the last video, ARRPM9 is 9CR steel done. It's particle steel, so it's got a really nice fine grain. Um, it holds an edge really well. I mean, it's not super steel, don't get me wrong, but it still holds an edge very nicely. And it is rust and stain resistant, which is very, very cool. The button lock is not too proud. You can see it a little bit, but, you know, I mean, it does stick up a little bit. Nothing to get in the way. Uh, this is a fairly tall knife this way. We'll get to that in a few minutes. So anyway, you got three inches of cutting, which is very, very cool. Uh, if you live in a state where it has to be sub three inches, this is not the knife for you. It is right at three inches. That's not an argument anybody wants to have, as I said, on three and a half inches overall. Grip area from behind that flipper tab. Um, the natural sort of stopping point, which is sort of right here-ish because of the way this handle rolls. Uh, you're looking at about three and a half, but you can, you know, because it's sort of open all the way down. My pinky comes back around this edge and grips the knife very comfortably right here. My thumb lands very naturally right where the uh, jimping is. And the jimping, by the way, is chamfered and knocked down, uh, as is the opening and deployment hole, as, you know, pretty much the only place on this knife that's sharp is, and here comes the big surprise, the edge, which is what you want. <laughs> At least that's what I want. Uh, this is really well done. The knife overall, from tip to tail, comes in at just over 8 inches. We're looking at 8 and an eighth. Closed length on the Lago is 4 and... A little over 4 and a half. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, a little over 4 and a half. Now, the closed profile on this thing, the pocket profile... Why don't we just move the whole mat around? That's what we do, I guess. Why not? Good. Mostly straight, how'd we do? Eh, good enough. Uh, is a little thick. We're talking about, it's over an inch and a half this way. And it does have a flipper tab, which is chamfered very nicely, but just the same. When it's in the pocket, it's going to rest against things that are in the pocket. 
Now, earlier this week, I talked about how much I really, really like the pyrite, and I do. This is a great little knife. The, the Lago here is a great knife. Uh, the shape of the handle, the shape of the blade lends itself. Oh, sorry, one last thing. As I said, you're looking at, you know, three and a half inches, a little over three and a half inches of grip. But if you add in this choil, you're looking at one, two, three, four and a half inches. Lots and lots of room. Now, the choil on this actually isn't that much bigger than the choil on the pyrite, which means if you've got big old mitts like mine, please be aware you are coming up on that edge pretty good. The shape of the blade does lend itself really nicely to draw cuts, and it is almost leaf-shaped, so it is very pokey if you needed it to be. Steel liners are milled out on the inside. I don't know, I think this is a really nifty knife. Let's do some size comparisons, shall we? Let's just lay that out here. Speaking of, here's, what are we gonna compare it against? Well, here's a knife that's coming a little later on. You'll see this on Friday. Here it is against the Mordax, and as you can see, these knives are very, very similar in size. You get a little more cutting on the Mordax, and of course this is magnet cut. Here it is against the pyrite again. So you can see it is considerably larger than the pyrite, which we looked at earlier this week. Here it is against a full-size griptilian. And these knives are very similar in size. You get a little more cutting on the grip because you don't have that forward choil. But um, yeah, if you like, and by the way, handle shape in hand, very similar as well. In fact, one of the things about the grip that I don't love is the way that they've always is this roll out at the back of the grip, right? The Lago here, because it's squared off, sits into your palm really effectively, but they are very similar in size. So if you're familiar with the full size grip, you're gonna kind of be, you're gonna have an idea of how the Lago is in hand as well. And then finally, here it is, it gets the bug out. Everybody's favorite, just a knife. The Lago is a nice sized cutting tool. Hang on a second, gang. Here's one more little size comparison just for giggles. This is the Protect Malibu, very popular button lock knife. Um, this is probably my favorite CJRB to come out in a really long time. I love their stuff, but this thing, I don't know. It's got a cool blade, it's very comfortable, it's funky but not weird to the point of interfering with its use. As I was saying, the steel liners are well milled. Uh, it has a really nice deep carry clip that is ambidextrous. You can flip it around. The button on the button lock is seated nicely into, especially when it's closed, is seated nicely into the scale, into the G10. The G10 is milled and very grippy. This is a cool knife. And it's the same price as the Pyrite. It's $49.95. I mean, you can get other knives. You can get more expensive knives. But I think that you would be well served. If you like this thing, I would grab one. They make a red one, too. I found that over on uh, Knife Center, I think. There are varying colors in this as well. Uh, this one, of course, is the color I prefer. But hey. So, what do I think? Well, I think that you get an excellent cutting tool. It's running on bearings. It's got all the neat features. Uh, it leans into the button lock sort of fad and craziness that's going on right now. It has excellent deployment. Just, <laughs> I really like this thing. I think you will too. Let's go ahead and weigh it out because that's what we do. There we go. Uh, the Lago comes in. at 4.4 uh, ounces, which is not bad for a steel linered button lock, right? 4.4 ounces, it's a little over an eight inch knife, which is not bad. That is, by the way, 124 grams. By way of comparison, here is a Sencut, whose name eludes me. It's 3.6 ounces, right? They are similar in size, but I really prefer the CJRB and the way it looks. Let's get some blade stock. 
I'm not sure who cares about that, but the few times that I didn't do it, people said, how come you didn't do the blade stock? So let's do the blade stock. All right. The Lago gives you 2.63 millimeters. So it's thin blade stock and a nice tall blade. So it does come down to a really, really nice edge. Piece of paper, same one from earlier this week. A little bit of tear there at the end, but I think that may have been me. That's a nice spot. Yeah, that's... That's a nice edge. That's factory. I mean, no one's sharpened this. It hasn't been anybody else's hands. Folks over at CJRB are putting nice edges on their knives. So what's the bottom line? Well, the bottom line is this. This is sort of a heyday for button locks. If you like them, there are lots of companies making them in all sorts of price range. And I think you should get on it. And why do I say that? Well, here's what I know as someone who is sort of elbow deep, as it were, in the knife world. Button locks are a pain in the ass. They are. Everybody loves them, yet everybody complains all the time about lock stick, button stick, all that. You know, but it's just sort of a feature of button lock knives. Knife companies enjoy how much people like them, but they do not enjoy all the effort that has to go in to making them. And so I'm guessing that while companies will continue to produce them, more budget-oriented companies like CJRB and, you know, the the Kaiser budget line, and you know, you may not see as many of these going forward as you think. So if you really like button locks, now is sort of a heyday, and you should definitely jump on this. I know I'm glad to have one in the collection. Um, you can get them for less money. I think the send cuts, you know, 35 bucks or whatever. It's less than 40, I think. Um, you can get them for a lot more. This Kaiser, this is the Kaiser original. I think this was about 80 bucks. Slightly better blade steel, but it's tiny. I mean, it's, where'd it go? It's smaller than the Pyrite. So anyway, lots of choices, lots of options, lots of button locks going on right now. Quite frankly, this is one of my favorite recently because of the cool styling. And that's where we're gonna leave it. This is the CJRB Lago. It is a cool new knife from the folks at CJRB. It is an excellent button lock. It is well done. Very comfortable in hand and very slicey. There will be a link to where you can find one for yourself down in the description. And I hope that you've enjoyed this video. We'll see you next time.